Okay, so um, end of last year, sort of December 2012, um, LinkedIn actually removed the functionality um, to put your posts um, directly from your WordPress um, onto your LinkedIn feed. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that today. Um, this is what it's going to look like. Um, you can see here, um, this is my most recent blog post six days ago. Uh, this is going to look like it's going to do a URL shortened link and give you a sort of picture brief um, and a bit of text there as well. Just to show you the post as well, I'm just going to go over to my to my blog and you can see this is it here. And it's all automated, um, so there's nothing you need to do there. Um, so what we're going to do need to do to do this, um, unfortunately there is no way of doing this within LinkedIn anymore. You're going to have to use an external um, application. Um, and my one of choice today is Hootsuite. Um, so I'm just going to flick over to Hootsuite here. Um, it's very, very easy to sign up. You just go to Hootsuite.com. Um, and you can actually sign up with your Facebook um, login if you want to, or your Google login, or you can create a login if you want to as well. And the first thing you're going to have to do here is create the um, the places that you want to send send your data to. Um, in this case, it's going to be LinkedIn. Um, so we could add a social network, um, which is I've actually already got mine added here, but I'm just going to show you through it anyway. There's automatically a LinkedIn tab here, um, and you just press connect with LinkedIn, whack in, you, <coughs> whack in your username and password. Submit it, and there you go. Um, when once you've actually done this, um, what you're going to need, you'll see um, the LinkedIn tab at the top here, and it should give you all your updates. Um, we don't need to go into that bit. We just need to check that the updates are coming through, that we know, so that we know that it's connected correctly. After you've done that, you need to go to the Settings tab here on the left-hand side. Um, so you go to Settings, and then we're looking for um, RSS and Atom. So if you click on that one, we then need to add a RSS feed. Um, so I've already added mine in here, but I'm just going to take you through it again. Um, this is for WordPress, so you're going to press the plus signal on the top there, and then you're going to need to give it your feed URL. Um, the feed URL is for WordPress is just forward slash feed if you've done the default installation. So in my case, it would just be www.matthorner.co.uk forward slash feed. Um, you would know how to replace this in terms of your own. Um, the next thing you need to do is just choose what social network you want to send it to. So in this case, we're just going to select LinkedIn. You tick LinkedIn. Um, and then it's going to send all your posts it sees here to LinkedIn. Um, this time we need to tell it how how often you want it to refresh um, to collect these posts. Um, every hour is probably the best one. Um, that way you're not going to sort of spam a couple in, in a short space of time, um, or you might even miss one out. So I'd leave this on one hour um, hourly, um, and then when new posts are found, you can say how many you want it to post at one time. Um, if it can't do more than one at a time, it's just going to post the most recent one. You may get stuff left out if you blog more than once in an hour. Um, that's not going to be a problem for me. Um, then there's a couple of other settings here. Um, you can prepend some text to each message. I don't bother with this. And you can also shorten the URLs. But after you've done this, you can just save the feed um, and then go and post on your WordPress blog. And it's going to show up on your LinkedIn and um, all your colleagues and or connections can um, view it as they have enjoyed in the past. hope this has been useful for you and thanks for watching.